Can Chinese medicine really help you conceive a child and help with fertility? I mean, this ancient Chinese magic and these herbs, can they really stand up against IVF and modern medicine? Well, in this video, I want to share a little bit about the research on acupuncture for fertility, basically what you need to know whether or not it works, as well as in particular Chinese herbs for fertility. Hey guys, I'm Alex Hine, current doctoral student in Chinese medicine. Now I want to highlight three studies here that may elucidate a little bit about this. So in the first study done, just testing acupuncture for fertility, here's what was found. So in this first study done on 160 patients receiving assisted reproduction therapy, the participants were actually divided into two groups. One of them was an art plus acupuncture group. And the other one was just the art group, so the reproduction therapy group. So to be more specific, this was embryo transfer with acupuncture or without. Now, actual clinical pregnancies were documented in 42% of the patients in the acupuncture group versus 26% in the control group. Now, another study done was trying to see the link between acupuncture and conception rate or conception time. Now, in this particular study, the patients receiving acupuncture conceived within an average of five and a half weeks compared to 10.6 weeks for the lifestyle only group. So in other words, this was acupuncture versus overall lifestyle changes of diet, exercise, stretch reduction, etc. So this was actually half the time. In other words, they conceived twice as quickly versus doing all those other things. Now, one thing I wanna highlight here is that these results are not that miraculous because honestly, with healthy conception, Herbs are going to be much of the key power of Chinese medicine. And what's interesting is that apparently, according to some statistics, up to 90% of practitioners don't even give herbal formulas. So if we look at the research on some of the herbal formulas for fertility and conception, here's one or two that I found that were pretty interesting. Now, in another series of studies done, these were meta-analyses, so they measured all these randomized controlled trials. They found that conceiving with Chinese medicine versus Western medicine so there was actually a 3.5 greater likelihood of achieving a pregnancy with Chinese medicine therapies versus Western medicine drug theory alone that was in this particular study. Now the mean pregnancy rates were 60% for Chinese medicine versus 32% using Western medicine drug therapies. In these meta analyses, the average clinical pregnancy rate was 50% using Chinese medicine compared to 30% with in vitro. Now, another study done with 40 randomized controlled trials with over 4,200 women found something interesting as well. So these were all women with infertility, and in this meta-analysis, they suggested a 1.74 higher probability of achieving pregnancy with Chinese medicine than with Western medicine therapy alone. Now, the trials also included women with PCOS, endometriosis, fallopian tube blockage, or unexplained fertility. And the average pregnancy rate in the Chinese medicine group was 60% versus 33% in that Western drug therapy group alone. So some of these numbers are pretty impressive. I mean, double or triple the effectiveness. And obviously, the other thing to consider is that many patients with in vitro have spent six figures, hundreds of thousands of dollars on this therapy. Compared to that is basically pennies, maybe a couple thousand dollars at most over six months or eight months or a year. So when you think about it, there's always the risk to reward ratio, but also there's the cost savings of several thousand dollars versus several hundred thousand dollars, which many women that have gone through IVF multiple times are only then going to see an acupuncturist or a quote alternative practitioner. So if you're wondering about Chinese medicine, the acupuncture, the herbs for healthy conception, maybe this is something that may sway you into trying it out as just another option as a holistic protocol to conceive naturally. So I hope that helps. The best way to stay in touch with me is you can grab that free guide on my site, Five Daily Rituals to Help You Add 10 Years to Your Life with Traditional Chinese Medicine. You can grab that on my site for free. You can click the monk to get the next video when it's out and watch the last video right there.